also a viewer of my YouTube channel reached out to me and said that he is getting out of orchids and he asked if I wanted any of his plants and also he said he asked me if I wanted to uh, take any of them and then perhaps give them to the Illinois Orchid Society and so I of course said yes because I love helping orchids find new homes and Today, this morning, I went to uh, his house, picked up these orchids. They're in boxes. Um, he unpot them, they're bare root. You can see they're not in pots. And now I'm gonna have to sort them out and I will share what's in here. Some of these orchids will stay with me. Some of them will go to the Illinois Orchid Society. And some of them I will give away to others who want to share in this bounty. The orchids are currently in my son's bedroom since he's at college and not using it and I'm gonna have to go through um, all the plants individually because it uh, looks like there is a light scale infestation on them. So if you look, yeah that's Pinto right here. The scale so they'll need to be cleaned and I'll need to keep them separated from the rest of my plants not that I don't also have a very large scale infection right now so I just spent an hour online to get a COVID vaccine appointment and then I I'm having trouble. There's Pinto. All right. I just spent an hour uh, online getting a vaccine appointment for COVID and I brought up some plant trays in order to uh, take the plants out of the boxes and put them in the trays. And as you can see, there's Pinto. And actually, he was asleep in this tray. But now that I'm filming, he can tell that I am, so he's come to take part. Okay, so let's take some of these out of the boxes, and maybe there'll be room in the trays if Pinto doesn't get into them. Um, I already took a couple out already. Uh, you can see that these were growing in lava rock, and... Um, I'm going to repot all these into moss because uh, for oncidium types, at least for me, I don't water enough for them to survive in lava rock. Uh, this is um, Suke Marguerite. Um, it says number one. It's, it's fragrant. It smells really, really nice. One of the spikes broke in transit. I'm going to probably take it off and put it in some water. And then there is a How We Are Lava Burst right here. Uh, so I'm going to try to sort these in, um, separate out the orchids that uh, have scale on them. Let's see what else have I taken out of the box already? We have um, Alciara Stella Hoku. Oh, Pinto, don't get in that. Don't get in there. He's like, I'm totally getting in there. We have a lot of these have tags. This is Wildcat Golden Red Star. We have a, that is just bloom. And you can see this is really gonna need to be repot. The roots are all like in a clump right here. So let's see, this is Wilson our eye candy, penny candy. And this, okay, which has got the new name on it. Um, is an Achillium, an Achillium, 
or cordata or encyclia cordata. Oh, I'm sorry, not cordata, cochleata. It's the cockle shell orchid. And this one's doing pretty well. You can see it has a new growth right there. back in there and then keep stacking. Oh, but it's got one rotted growth. Oh. This growth is rotted right here. So I'm gonna need to cut that off. So it might behoove me to let all these dry out before I pot them up. To deal with rot. All right, let's see what else do we have. Here I have Oncidium, Oncidium Sweet 16 Prepossess. So then this is, oh wait, I have two in my hand. Okay, so this is Miltasia Shalabtokian. It's got nice new roots on it. I don't see any scale on these. So these are all going together in the don't have scale container. And then this right here, which is in bloom, is, um, Wilson our Wildcat number 13, and I love wildcats. I actually collect wildcats. I wish I could get a flask of wildcat because they always come out very, very different. Oh, getting a vaccine was so difficult. We had to spend an hour in a virtual waiting room just waiting and you didn't want to leave the computer because what if you got out of the waiting room and you weren't there and then you missed your chance to book an appointment all right this is oncidium rosy sunset this has got like small twinkle like flowers um i've seen this or maybe i have one um, and it's scented. Oh my goodness. This right here is Hula Hulao Volcano Splendor. And this definitely looks like it's dividable. So there'll be extras to share. So this would be, oh, this one has scale on it. So this is another Wilsonara eye candy, penny candy, but it has scale. So we're gonna put it in the scale bin. So here's, you can see the scale on it. And then there's scale right there. So scale bin, oh, though they're all in the same box. So who knows if I've spread it. Uh, This is Zygopetalum Rhine Harlequin. Oh, he does so much better on his zygos than I do. Um, hmm. Maybe I should try it in semi-hydro with a lot of water. 
I grow mine in moss and I feel like, I feel like, I don't know. It's like, actually I feel like they're too hot where I am. So they slowly fade for me when I have zygos. I can't put this one there, it has scale. So this jungle is gonna be so exciting for Pinto to dig into and chew things. Especially since I'm taking all the leafy oncidium types that he likes to eat out. Oh, this one has some flowers on it. You can see them. Looks like a shari baby. Let's see if that's what it is. Um, yes, Oncidium shari baby sweet fragrance. This is Brasidium Gilded Tower, Mystic Maze. It's got a really nice new growth on it. Oncidium Baby Raspberry Chocolate HCC AOS. And it's got a lot of new growths on it. It's doing very well. All right. Oh, this one's really heavy. It is full of rock. You can see the this one's been growing this one a while. It's the lava rock's really in there. You can feel it. It is so heavy. Pinto, your tail is in the way. Here we go. Look at that lava rock embedded in there. This is um uh Catante Orange Kiss. I have Catante, I think, Sunset. It has these sort of orange red flowers really quite that Pinto, Pinto Pinto what are you doing kid cat can can you move man here here you want to can you move Pinto -y? and all right now I can make some room I got one box emptied the last one out of that box and this is Miltasia Lavender Kiss. And you guys can't see it because all you can see is a Pinto. So, the Pinto. Pinto! See, now he's, he's in that container that I put for my scale. That's how scale spreads in my house. It's courtesy of Pinto. All right, so this one looks okay. All right, so in this box right here, we have the only path. Um, it is Paphiopetalum philippinense. You can see that. And let's see. So paths, I understand it, are prone to mealybugs. Um, there does seem to be a little bit of, I don't know, I should probably scrub this once. It might have had scale, so we'll put it in the has scale container. And then we have here a, um, no ID catacetum. 
The nice thing about catacetans is since they lose all their foliage, um, it's easy to uh, get rid of scale and bugs on them because you just unpot them. We'll put that over here. And then right here we have Catacetum Alexis Pardo by Finger Dinger crossed to Catacetum Rosseliana. It's a very interesting cross. And they are already very leafy and very green. So I'll just, I'll put both of the catacetums right here. And then, and there's another box done. And then we have two Wrinkle Stylist Gigantias. So one of them has a tag and one of them doesn't. I don't know what color that is, but it's a Rico Stylus Gigantia. And this one is marked as Rico Stylus Gigantia Red. It's got two fans. And it looks like I should probably clean it. So I'm going to put them with my needs to be cleaned stack. to need another needs to be clean stack so this one also so there's a if you see right there there's like a little white dimple so i'm going to scrub both of these with the toothbrush well we have a bag so Here's a Vanda, or it looks a little bit like Ditteri. It has no tag. It looks clean though. Here's a Phalaenopsis. Oh, and it has a little spike on it. And this is, you can see the spike. And this is Tetraspis. Oh, I don't have a Tetraspis, so I'm going to have to keep this one. Okay. Oh, here's just a cluster of these things. Um, oh, this is one of those variegated fowls. Um, this is Sogo Vivian Leaf's Edge. And then this right here is... Are these two attached? No, here we go. This is Liao's Cute Angel, which is Jihao Cherry by Lobia. And then this is Phalaenopsis Sallow Peaker, which is Yellow Peaker by Golden Sun. All these are going to get potted up into moss because that's how I grow my. Um, oh, this must be a kiki. It's so small. Look at that. Um, this is Formosa Dream. It's a Mobilis by Lobii. Ah, so these, well, he was also growing them in lava rock, you can see. So the other ones, he must be able to get all the lava rock off, but he didn't with this. Uh, this right here, the flowers. Oh, one has gotten broken here. Is Chida Spark Wilson. And does it have... Seems clean. And 
this right here is Phalaenopsis batiani by Sibo. He really liked sort of novelty species fowls. And look, so this is one of those continuous um, blooming ones. You can see the end is still blooming right here. See it? These two. We've got a little new one coming right here. here is Bastiani by Sib and look it's got one kiki here and it's got another kiki right there oh and it looks like there's a shibariana in here let's look at that yes this is shibariana by Sib There we go for those fowls. Mm, I'm gonna have to get more trays. Here we have Brassostelle tarantula sweet orange and Oncidium twinkle pink perfusion. And this one definitely has scale on it. So it's gonna go in the scale pile. And this one has some faint bits of scale on it as well. Unfortunately, they're really small, and Pinto is now eyeing them like he wants to eat them. All right, this is the box of dendrobiums. I tried to separate everything into groups and epidendrums. So we have this, it's untagged. Um, it's a dendrobium of some kind. Looks very clean. Uh, looks like an anosmo type. I'm not sure. I guess we'll try to bloom it out and figure out what it is. And then we have another one, which is also like that. Also, what looks like a anosum type, which is the Hono Hono Dendrobium. And see this one, he had these sort of labels where he had like stickers on them and the sticker fell off. So this is annoyed now. Also looks like a Nosman type. So if it's an Nosman type, it should be blooming now and it could. So if you look at this right here, you can see right there, there's like a little bump, so that could be bud formation. And then right, see right there, there's another little bump. It could also be bud formation. So I might know, I mean, it could be kiki. So see right here, these are like kikis coming out. But um, might be, might be blooms, we'll see. And he has this one mounted in a, coconut husk or he had I guess that technically they're mine now all right what other epidendrums and dendrobiums do we have in here all right it's an epidendrum this is oh this is radicans Pinto loves to eat reed stem epidendrums. We have, oh, this was a pink, the Phalaenopsis type. This is Dendrobium Lai Klang Un.
this right here is Dendrobium aggregatum. And he said he'd never gotten this to bloom. So this is one of the ones that requires a dry winter rest in order to bloom. So it's probably not going to bloom this year because um, he watered it all winter. This is Dendrobium Wulang Blue Lip. Bunch of Phalaenopsis types. Some of them might be noids. I can get them out. Here's another reads the Dendrum. Two more. Like, oh no, this is a unlabeled. Um, Latoria type dendrobium and it has a little bud forming so I don't know so you know a lot of the different um, chips like um, look the same so I don't know if we'll be able to tell from flower uh, but uh, looks actually like this is gonna be two pieces because it looks like it's broken right there so it divided itself so that's a no ID. We'll put that in the no ID container. So that's Cupid. Hi, Cupid. Here's another reed stent epidendra. This is Mora Valley. Oh, it's huge. And it's heavy. It's filled with lava rock. So this right here is Dendrobium fire wings. Oh, it really likes growing in lava rock. Why fire wings tend to get, um, hmm, I don't water them enough, I think, in the winter. So oh, I'll try to think of some kind of very wet medium for this. Dendrobium Jonathan's Glory Dark Joy. Just water spots. Here's another Kingianum type. Uh, this is what I have a tag. This one is uh, King Zip. I love Latoria. Not Latoria. I love um, King Yannum hybrids. I think King Zip will have to stay. I may have one. This is something that says gem. That's all it says. Gem. It has a new growth, probably a Phalaenopsis type with no ID. We'll put it in the no ID container. All right, ah, this is Dendrobium hibiki. He has a nice large hibiki. I, um, I have killed my hibiki, or my hibiki is not doing very well. Apparently trick here, which I had not been doing is you need to water it all winter. A double check the it's okay. Those are just water spots. Alright. Is then we have another no ID dendrobium. I think it's a dendrobium. I think he said he thought this might have been a Wanagara apple blossom, but um, because of the nodes right here, I think 
Here are the nodes. I think this is a dendrobium. And then this right here is Encyclia Alata by Alata Early Early something Early Bird. Encyclia Alata by Alata Early Bird. I should say, encyclias do like to be mounted. I should mount more of mine. And this right here is Dendrobium Popeye. Dendrobium Pink Spark. This is a no ID dendrobium. We had a bunch of his dendrobiums mounted. He said they did really well mounted. And that is everything from the box. So I'm pretty sure everything in this last box has scale on it. Because I could see it when I was putting them in the box. So this doesn't have a lot. It has a little bit right there. Um, this is Myrmacophila or Myrmacocatabola Francis Fox. These cat lion tags. So this one has no tag. It's untagged. Um, looks like something with bifoliate, maybe a clandier in it. Um, but it has scale. And I'm going to tell you, I think, I feel like scale on a bifold, it's like the kiss of death. Uh, right here, this is a Ludoman Ludomaniana Vartelicata, and it has, so see where it's yellow? There's a really bad scale infection going in, going on right here gonna need to be cleaned. I don't know if it's salvageable. We'll see. Um, it's small. Things that are small that get scale. Sometimes I can't expend enough effort to save them because they have to be babied. Ah, uh, this is probably his unlabeled Wanagar Apple Blossom. He says he has a Carmella clone. It also has scale, just like that one I cleaned the other day. Oh, this is um, Brassavola Brassavola by Stealth Rinkolalia Digbiana Oh why Rinkolalia? Why would it be cross to be Rinkolalia? Print. Well, this is a, looks like it could be a dig beyond. It also has scale. Alright, what else do we have in here? This is his yellow bird. And let's see, does it have scale? Oh, it might be clean. It might be clean. I had it in the scale box though. So I should look over it just in case. It could be just the old Cataleas and scale loves Cataleas. Like crazy buckets love Cataleas. I am not seeing any scale on it. I could put it in the scale free zone. Here is his golden peacock. It doesn't have a tag on it, but he told me he had a golden peacock. So this is his golden peacock. I recognize it just by its growth and the fact that it has little buds right there. 
And is it clean or does it have scales? Let me see. Oh, it has scale. To the scale. Scale bin. Hello, Pinto. Are you going to eat some? Can you eat the ones that have scale rather than the ones that don't? Pinto. Balanopsis in here. It has scale. Oh, it has brown scale. So you can see the, the little scale bits right there. Right there. Um, it's annoyed. Meaning it has no ID. And I need another container for all this stuff. Because Cupid is sleeping in that container now. So... I can't exactly put orchids in it. Here's another Phalaenopsis. It has scale. Let's put it in the scale pile. I need a secondary scale container. Oh. This one's in bloom. Look at all the pretty flowers. I don't know if this one has scale. It has some white marks on it that are a little suspicious, but it doesn't look like it has scale. I think we're going to call it a no, not have scale, but it's annoyed. guy here. Is this a Baldwin's Kaleidoscope? No, this is Phalaenopsis Surf Song Fox 1238. So this a scale or is that just some suspicious white spots? Um, hmm. Let's get some dimples. All right, we're gonna call that one clean. We'll pop both of those up right away because they're in bloom. Oh, look at this. What a, I don't know if you can see what a beautiful red this is. So this is um, Brasio Leila Catlea Lily Marie Almas Manager. And it looks like could easily become two pieces because you see how it's flexing like that? It's like almost there's one piece here and there's one piece here. Let's check it for scale. I'm not seeing any scale on it. Oh wait, there's one. All right, let's go in the scale pile to be clean. We'll clean it as fast as we can so that we can pot it up. The nice thing about them being bare root with scale is that I can uh, really go after them with the toothbrush and really get them clean. I wonder if I should try the bleach soak. All right, this right here is Potnar Tricky Love Nelly. Let's see, does it have scale? It does. Scale pile. All right. Does this one have scale? Let me see. It has some suspicious spots. I'd like to wash it. This is Leo Catlea Secret Love KB. It doesn't really seem to have scale, but I just, I think I'd like to wash it. I would feel better if I got to wash that one, just in case. Oh, 
Here's another no ID Phalaenopsis. Got such great roots on these. Look at the roots. Can you see the roots? Um, looks clean though. Put on a no ID container. We've got a last one in this box is the Brassiolalia Catlea. Jewel box dark waters. I have Scheherazade, which actually I think did catch scale and I had to clean it. And so let's see how this one's doing. Oh, it does. Here we go. Let's turn it around. Sneaky. Scale is sneaky. It hides. See, it's all hidden underneath this leaf. So this will need to be washed. And then you know, it's really nice that these are bare, the cat layers are bare root. I can go ahead and just put them into semi-hydro once they have been scrubbed. So this is the free plant that I got today. And it's a lot. It's a lot of plants. And hopefully uh, I will be sharing them with uh, the Illinois Orchid Society and uh, others uh, between now and um, this fall.